And joining us now on the WashU Sports Network is one of our assistant athletic trainers at Washington University, Mary Tarzan Collins. Mary, how are we doing today? Good, how are you, Chris? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining us here on our weekly Bears and Hibernation feature as we check in with our coaches and some of our staff members about what they've been doing during COVID-19. So Mary, that's my first question to you is, what's been keeping Mary Collins busy during COVID-19? Besides the obvious and trying to figure out what the fall looks like and making sure that we have uh, the best scenarios going forward for to make sure that our student athletes stay healthy. Um, I've been doing a lot of baking, uh, puzzles. <laughs> I've been reading a lot of books. So I, uh, I'm definitely trying to keep busy at home. Um, my, my husband and my dog always make life a little bit entertaining. So um, everything's, we're just having fun at home, so. Mary, you're a St. Louis native, uh, but you headed east uh, to go to college. You got your athletic training degrees at Xavier um, in Cincinnati with your undergrad and then uh, your master's degree in Bloomington uh, at the University of Indiana. Can you talk about those two experiences and kind of uh, what you learned that has led you into your current role at WashU? Yeah, well, I was, I was very fortunate to uh, attend both those universities. Um, Xavier is a great place and I wouldn't have had a different, I wouldn't have wanted a different um, undergraduate experience than what I got. Uh, besides not being a football school, it was everything I wanted. Um, I knew that if I didn't leave St. Louis for college, I would never leave. So I was very excited to find an institution that fit me so well. Um, I was really fortunate to work with the women's basketball team while I was there. We won the A-10 championship. I got to go to Seattle for the NCAA tournament. So that was an amazing experience. And while I was at Indiana, I worked with uh, cross country and track and field both years that I was getting that I was there doing my master's. And I got to work with some incredible athletes. Uh, we won, uh, the men's team won the Big Ten indoor championships while I was there. And I got to go uh, to the Canadian Olympic trials and see one of my athletes uh, make the Olympic team and subsequently win the bronze medal in 2012 for um, high jump. So it was really exciting uh, to be around that caliber of athletes. So Mary, uh, after you graduated from Indiana, you had the opportunity to come back uh, to Wash U and work for Rick Larson. So that was uh, 10 years ago. So take me back, was that kind of always the plan to, to get your undergrad and then your master's and then hopefully to return to St. Louis where your family is? So I didn't think I was gonna be returning as early as I did. Um, I definitely thought I was going to be uh, either going back to Cincinnati um, or uh, staying at Indiana, but I received information that the job was being posted at WashU, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't pass it up. I knew I had to at least apply, otherwise I wouldn't forgive myself. And I was very fortunate uh, to uh, get the job. John Shale called me on Memorial Day weekend and offered me the job, and I, I couldn't be happier with um, how it all ended up. So, Mary, you worked for two legends in the business the past nine years at WashU, Rick Larson and Jim Anderson. Rick Larson uh, passed away earlier this year, and I know he was, you know, probably one of your biggest mentors, along with Jim, who retired after a great career with the Rams and also with WashU. Can you just talk to our fans a little bit about what you learned from working alongside, you know, just two giants in the business, Rick Larson and Jim Anderson? Well, I mean, like you said, they were giants. Rick always said that we had 95 years of athletic training experience, but most of those years were Rick and Jim. Um, I contributed very little to that number. Um, so I, I was very fortunate. I, I came the year after Jim um, got to Wash U. So I got to be there from the, from the beginning almost with Jim um, and they taught me how to look at the big picture, make sure that I'm looking at everything that um, can happen, every possibility, um, 
really helping me with my, with my rehab skills, with my communication skills with um, coaches and with our athletes. And I wouldn't have had it any other way. They were the, they were two of my favorite coworkers. That's for sure. Um, you have good days and bad days like everyone does with their coworkers, but we, uh, we definitely bonded um, as well as my coworker, Jacob Lassen game. You know, we spent five years together and then um, it was, it was a lot of fun. The four of us, we had a lot of fun. Mary, I know uh, it was one of Rick's vision to, to build a new training room. And I know that, you know, finally happened a few years back with the new Summers Recreation Center. How, uh, how impactful has the new uh, athletic training and sports medicine suite been uh, for our 550 plus student athletes? It has been fantastic. Um, we have, we were able to, uh, as you said, Rick was able to um, make these plans and build it from the ground up. And we have pretty much everything that we wanted. Um, we were able to get an underwater treadmill and two plunge pools, which really helps out um, for preseason especially, but then also for our injured student athletes that they have the underwater treadmill to start working back on. We were able to get an alter G, which, is, which we were very fortunate for. Um, and it has, uh, student athletes didn't used to want to come to the training room. Um, it was very small um, and you couldn't, you could barely fit any, uh, needless to say, a team in there. Um, and now they are eager to come in. They want to come in and do the rehab that they're asked to do, the um, anything that they need to do before or after practice. Um, and it, it's been really beneficial for the student athletes. Now, Mary, you and I have traveled uh, numerous trips together with softball. Lots, I've spent a lot of time with you watching a lot of WashU softball. And the one thing that I've always been impressed with you is you always have a smile on your face. Winning or losing, I know you want the Bears to win, but you always got a smile on your face. Seems like you really do enjoy your job. And I'm, I'm sure you have good and bad days like all of us. But talk to me about your job and what you really enjoy the most about being an athletic trainer at WashU. I, I think one of my favorite things is seeing um, our student athletes compete. Uh, I know what they go through on a daily basis in terms of practice, what injuries they've come through. And it really makes me happy to see them out there on the court or the track or the field and doing well, even though, you know, two weeks ago, they weren't even able to practice because they hurt themselves for, in some way or another. And I think that that's definitely my favorite part is, is seeing them compete and, and most, mostly succeeding. So that's, that's always the best, obviously. So Mary, you met your, uh, your husband, Steve, at WashU, who was uh, an athletics employee and facility, did a great job for us. Um, tell our fans a little bit, how long have you and Steve been married? And I know you have a, uh, a four-legged friend now in the family. Yeah, so Steve and I have been married for two and a half years. Um, we met, um, it was my, I believe in my third year, um, and uh, we got married in 2018. And uh, we we're very fortunate to have WashU that brought us together. Um, yeah, we have, a, we have a dog named Daisy. Um, she is a, a terrier mix. She's part pit bull, part something else. So we rescued her from, uh, so we got her from Stray Rescue downtown. And uh, yeah, it's the three of us and we love it, so. Well, Mary, thank you for coming on our Bears and Hibernation fair, uh, weekly series here. And obviously, I'm sure um, a lot is up in the air for the fall, which makes things uh, you know, a little difficult in both of our professions and also in the midst of uh, hiring a new head athletic trainer at WashU. Yeah, it, it'll be an interesting fall for sure, and, but we're doing the best for our student athletes and that's all we can ask for. Mary, thanks for joining us. Hope, hopefully look forward to seeing the office here in a few weeks. Yeah, thanks, Chris. See ya.